What's up, everybody? Thanks for joining us here on CIB24.com for another episode of Sports Recap. I'm your host, Travis Headland, and we've got a lot to get to this week, from the most prestigious tournament in tennis to the most one-sided World Cup game in recent memory. Plus, UFC 175 took over Las Vegas, and we've got all the jaw-dropping, skull-cracking headlines coming your way. Get ready, boys and girls. Sports Recap starts now. Tuesday afternoon, we saw one of the most dominating World Cup victories we've seen in a long time as Germany blew out host nation Brazil 7-1, the biggest margin of victory in a semifinal ever. Thomas Müller scored in the 11th minute and the Germans scored five by halftime. Oscar broke through in the 90th minute to save face for Brazil and prevent the shutout. A third place finisher in 2006 and 2010, Germany has guaranteed itself no worse than runner up I called it at the beginning, and I'm sticking to my guns. Germany beats Argentina 3-1 to to win the World Cup. Be sure to tweet me at Travis Hedlund when this all blows up horribly in my face. While most of the big moves have been made and the dust is beginning to settle, NHL free agency continues, and several role players are still finding their new homes and providing hope to their long-suffering fan bases. The most intriguing move so far this week is longtime Nashville Predator David Legwand, who's heading to the Ottawa Senators for two seasons and $6 million. Legwand brings 577 career points to the Sens as they look to fill the offensive void left by Jason Spezza. Face off, Doc. We'll see if they reset the clock. Pittsburgh Penguins captain and reigning NHL MVP Sidney Crosby has announced that he'll have off-season wrist surgery, but that it won't affect his availability for training camp next season. Now, the NBA has hardly seen the action of the NHL this off-season. And a full week and a half into the league's free agency, all of the top names that we were watching on July 1st are still weighing their options. LeBron James, Chris Bosh, Carmelo Anthony, Luol Deng, Pau Gasol, and even old-timers like Vince Carter and Paul Pierce should be making moves within the next few days. So please make sure you're following us on Facebook and Twitter to stay on top of the latest information. Seven-time Wimbledon champion Roger Federer couldn't make it eight as Novak Djokovic put away the Swiss icon in five thrilling sets to win the tournament for his second time after beating Rafael Nadal in 2011. The win returns Djokovic to the top of the world rankings list and snaps a streak of three consecutive losses in open finals. It's Djokovic who claims this classic. Six four in the fifth, they have. And so surely will these two. Wonderful, wonderful final. The women's bracket saw Petra Kvitova defeat Canadian Eugenie Bouchard in just 55 minutes to claim her second title at the All England Club, also winning the event for her first time since 2011. (laughs) Her second Wimbledon title. It's been over two months since Floyd Money Mayweather outpointed Marcos Maidana in Las Vegas, but the undefeated kingpin let it slip this week that the two are headed to a September 13th rematch. While Maidana put on the performance of his life and made the original fight more competitive than most experts expected, it may be unrealistic to expect a similar performance from him back to back. Look for Floyd to stay off the ropes this fall and put on a clinic before laughing his way to the bank with another $30 million plus payday. UFC 175 was headlined by two title fights this week. The first saw rowdy Ronda Rousey dismiss Alexis Davis in just 16 seconds to retain the women's bantamweight championship. In the main event, All-American Chris Weidman was able to hold on to his title as well, outpointing the former king at 205, Lyoto Machida, and earning a unanimous decision. 
Well, that's a wrap on another edition of Sports Recap. Thanks for tuning in and spending your time with all of us here at CIB24.com. Please like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to both our YouTube and Daily Motion channels. You can also follow me on Twitter, at Travis Headland, to chat about the latest sports news throughout the week. We'll see you next time, and for the sake of my prediction, go Germany!